another breaking news, my people. Ehime Mbano local government area divisional police headquarters had been set ablaze by unknown gunmen. This is happening just this evening now. So let me get you the news in full, you know. Let me read the news in full for you. This is, I mean, Imo State is burning. Gunmen have raised another police station in Imo State few hours after Vice President Yemi Osi Banjo and outgoing Inspector General of Police that the sacked one, Muhammad Adamu, left Owere, the Imo State capital. Osi Banjo and other officials of the federal government, including Minister of Interior, Raf Arebosla, had visited the state to inspect the level of damage on the bond security facilities. But the gunmen bond a Hime Imbano local government mm -hmm. area divisional police headquarters shortly after they left. It was gathered on arrival at the station. The government freed all suspects in detention before setting the police divisional headquarters ablaze. Our correspondent gathered the gunmen operated without any resistance from the policemen. A source said, Government this evening raised a Hime Mbano local government police divisional headquarters. On arrival, the government carrying guns free the suspect before wrecking the havoc. In Imo State Police spokesperson Orlando Ikoku told the nation he had been not contacted or briefed on the incident. But senior police officer who craved an anonymity said the comrades hierarchy was saddened by the latest incident. Yes, this is again the latest in Imo State. So the government as well had cutted away all the arms in the police station. So it is happening. I have a video to show you as a proof which you watch after a short time. And then after that video, we can see continue our analysis. So, you see, the governor of that state, what is that his name? The Supreme Court governor, um, Hopo Zodema, he think that using force, crush, those, those terminology they use, crush them, is a way to resolve issues like this. They never learn anything. He has never learned anything. At least, the issue of Boko Haram in the North should have taught these are politicians' lessons. Because Boko Haram, they started by crushing them, who crush them, everything forced. And the whole thing escalated. Today, Boko Haram has developed up to the extent of shooting down Nigerian military air force plane. And the army are running away from Boko Haram. Police cannot even go closer. Anytime they send police to, to the north, they, they, will, they will just start crying. So, you see, it was this attitude of crush, crush, instead of to dialogue, seek amicable solution to resolve issues, issues raised by the citizens. That is the best way to handle things, not by using um, force, you use guns because they've given you the gun. So, Imo State is suffering the same thing, especially this year, governor who puts on them. He thinks that by using force, he can deal with his own people. He just recently invited the military to pump all. After this bombing, what is he experiencing now? Okay, the one that just happened at Owori was just about um, two days ago. And what is what is the next issue now? Another one that has not happened. Okay, why he's contemplating, not only contemplating, saying how he's going to crush the people. The Inspector General of Police, the sacked one, just said they have to they have to do, do ruthlessly against IPOB. And it's not a security network because he claimed they are the one responsible. I don't think that he he was as soon as he left uh, Imo State he was he has arrived in Abuja before this news came in. 
Osim Bajor, the vice president also the same thing. So maybe they will Osim Bajor will turn back again now to come and um, inspect this next police station that was burnt. So let me show you the video first of all. After watching this video, we will now continue this analysis. I believe that these people will learn lessons from this. These unknown gunmen, they are determined. You cannot also stop them by force. So since they want to use force, well, let us see how they can. No child, no child get too full of Yes, Ababra police station is under fire now. Yeah, my friend. The hoodlums has gone under Ababra police station. I don't know. I don't know. I you can see what is happening in the Babylon Police Division. Yes. The hoodlums have burned the Babylon Police Station. The phone there. It has been burned down by the hoodlums this evening. You can see how the fire is burning. All the vehicles inside, right inside here, is completely burned down. Yes. Yes. You can see, you can see what is happening here now, live. So I think you all deserve without we walk out here. You can see, there is no even no fire service. It's the citizens that are now civilians now using water to to stop the the fire burning at the station. The policemen are nowhere to be found. I think um, the governor, since he knows how to crush, how to invite military to bomb uh, his own people, now he has multiple places, multiple places to not bomb. He should just call the Nigerian Air Force to level the whole of Imo State, to level everywhere. He should use his bomber plane to bomb everywhere. That is the best way he can solve the problem. This man is completely a fool that governor he knows nothing he knows nothing this time this time the people are no longer joking these people you see that are doing this thing they to them they are already dead people they they, they they are no longer in this world so you cannot use force to 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 stop them it's impossible it's from what i'm it's what I'm observing now. It's impossible to use force. So, the only way is to appease them. But this style of, we are going to crush them. We are going to use any military form, any power we have. Hello, you cannot stop these people. They are no longer afraid. You can see, police cannot even attack them back. The police, the police are running away from them. Who is going to who, who are those people that are going to defend defend you the the governor in particular when the attack will come to you i don't think anybody can save you nobody can save you so the best thing so please change your tactics if you want peace in that